please? Yes. Ma'am, to prevent Ma sexually transmitted diseases like HIV? Yes, very good. Yes, three points already um, she shared with us. Three points to say, hum logon se share kiya hai. See, uh, when we are talking about, jab hum log baat karte hai, that what, we, uh, what factors have led to the adoption of contraceptive methods? Okay, let me write for those who are joining right now, what factors, this is the first question, that what factors, what factors, factors have lead to, have lead to adoption of, lead to adoption of, adoption of, Contraceptive methods, contraceptive methods. Say we are taking the first question that what factors have lead to adoption of contraceptive methods when I am writing. One say methods jo hain, jiski wajah se contraceptive methods ko adopt kiya gaya. Thikhe, what factors are there? So right now, she said four points you can add in this. The first point is it check the growing human population what factor have lead to the adoption of contraceptive methods the first point is uh, to check the growth of human population human population ke growth ko check karne ke liye okay the population growth of population should be checked that's why there is a need of adoption of this contraceptive methods now second uh, point uh, to prevent the stds you can add. It's may hum log dusra point ye lik sakte hai ki to prevent the STDs. STDs ko prevent karne ke liye sexually transmitted diseases ko prevent karne ke liye ye method jo hai ye adopt kiye jate hai. Now third point you can add in this to keep a gap in between the children this type of method is adopted. Okay. Uh, means there should be gap between the children. So this is the third point. Any more point? Do you remember anyone? Or koi point is may add kar sakte ho to batao mujhe. Any point? Ma'am, to prevent unwanted pregnancies. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Ma'am, to prevent unwanted pregnancies. Yes, for uh, unwanted, for preventing unwanted uh, pregnancy, for checking the growth of human population, to prevent STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. You can also write it like this for maintenance, for maintaining the reproductive health. Reproductive health ko maintain karne ke liye. Okay. Uh, this uh, types of uh, adoption uh, means adoption of contraceptive methods is the uh, people uh, adopt the contraceptive methods we can say. Okay. So this is the uh, first question which I have asked from you people that why it is what factor have lead to the adoption of contraceptive methods and three four point I think you people have discussed. Now next question is how do sperm reaches the female genital tract and where does fertilization and impl implantation of embryo take place? Anyone? How do Sperms enter into female genital tract. Anyone? Yes, if you know the answer, tell me. How do sperms enter into female genital tract? This is sperms you have female genital tract may enter. Karte hai. And what is the place of fertilization and implantation? Yesterday, we people have discussed it. Anyone? No one. Tell me how what happened during mating. During mating or copulation, large number of the yes. Yes, you can ma'am the sperm. Yes. Ma'am, the sperm enters in the female genetical tract uh, which takes place in ovidac of fallopian tube. Yes. See the complete answer when you are going to say how you are going to say during mating, okay, a number of sperm enters into the female reproductive uh, part that is uh, 
and through uterus it passes and then when it reaches the ovary duct there the process of fertilization is carried out okay and after that the fertilized egg that is zygote divide into embryo and the place of development is the uterus of the female so during copulation we can say or during mating number of sperms entered into the female's body genital tract and many of the sperms during their um, when they uh, move towards the ovary duct many sperms die in its path okay only few survive and only one or two may go and fuse there and when we are talking about the twins there we can see that the two sperms uh, moves and fertilize two uh, and uh, fertilization take place with two different ova okay so there we will find but uh, generally what happens one sperm go and fuses with the egg after that uh, one protective covering is developed so it does not allow other sperms to enter into the egg many sperms die during the traveling we can say this is the answer to that question इस क्वेश्चन का यही आंसर है ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी आर व्हाई रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ इज नेसेसरी एनीवन व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ व्हाई इज इट नेसेसरी रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ व्हाई व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाई इट इज नेसेसरी एनीवन व्हाई वी आर सेइंग दैट रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ इज नेसेसरी यस anyone tell me why we are saying that uh, that um, of what is the significance we can say what is the significance of reproductive health reproductive health ka kya significance hai what is the significance of reproductive health in a society anyone how many points you can add in this question kitne points ko dal sakte ho is question mein yes anyone what is the significance of reproductive health um you tell me kya significance hai reproductive health ka yes many of you are writing in the chat box yes anyone unmute yourself and tell me what is the significance of reproductive health we are talking about its significance हम लोग सिग्निफिकेंस की बात कर रहे हैं तो क्या सिग्निफिकेंस है रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ का एनी थ्री पॉइंट फोर पॉइंटल रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ इज ने फॉर सोशल मेंटल एंड फिजिकल फिटनेस वी कैन से बट दिस इज नॉट द सुटेबल आंसर परफेक्ट आंसर आई वॉन्ट प्रिवेंट मदर एंड चाइल्ड फ्रॉम it prevents mother and child from infectious diseases yes it prevent the stds if reproductive health should be maintained then sexually transmitted diseases which are also infectious diseases that can be controlled sexually transmitted diseases agar hum log baat kare many sexually transmitted diseases are due to bacteria and viruses so if reproductive health is maintained then sexually transmitted diseases can be checked okay this is the first point second point don't you think if reproductive health is maintained then the mortality rate of newborn baby will be reduced the mother will be fine sometimes we people hear na that uh, while giving birth a lady dies or uh, sometime the newborn dies after giving birth means uh, premature delivery, delivery we can say so i think this type of uh, cases should be reduced if reproductive health is maintained do you think so yes anyone yes ma'am yes this can be considered as an important point na that the mortality rate of the uh, mortality rate um, Either we are talking about the newborn, or we are talking about the pregnant uh, means uh, pregnant lady. The mortality rate should be reduced. So, second point: What is the significance of reproductive health when we are saying the first point? We should take uh, that um, um, STDs should be prevented. 
if reproductive health should be maintained, it should be checked. Second, we can add into this that it will reduce the mortality rate of the uh, newborn baby as well as the pregnant mother who is going um, to give birth to a baby. So these points can be added. Then a small family, if reproductive health is maintained, then uh, the, um, we can say the idea of a small family Okay, where everything can be provided um, if uh, say in a family very few children are there. So, uh, parental care should be properly provided. If many children are there, uh, then um, their need cannot be fulfilled. So, the concept of a small family, uh, the concept of a small family, we can say, and its advantage uh, will be there if uh, reproductive health is maintained. Don't you think so? अगर रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ को मेंटेन किया जाए तो स्मॉल फैमिली का कॉन्सेप्ट जो है और उसके एडवांटेजेस ओके नो डाउट देयर इज डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ आल्सो स्मॉल फैमिली बट एडवांटेजेस आई थिंक आर मेनी ओके मींस इफ वन चाइल्ड इज देयर तो द नीड फॉर दैट चाइल्ड द नीड ऑफ दैट चाइल्ड शुड बी फुलफिल्ड बाय द पेरेंट सो दैट कांसेप्ट विल बी फुलफिल्ड so this one is the third point regarding the significance of reproductive health any more point you can add in this reproductive health any more point i think enough point we people have taken na but tum log kya sochte ho ye teeno charo point ko hum log dal sakte hain isme any yes okay now uh, ne uh, next um, next question which uh, we people are taking agla jo question hum log lenge uh, related with reproductive health that is uh, reproductive health se hi sambandhit hum log uh, jo hai bhi different questions uh, le rahe hain uh, in that question one question is given that um, uh, mr r sarma was suffering from various type of disease presently and he went through health check up and was diagnosed and was diagnosed as hiv positive say um, some um, um, example we are taking ek example hum log le rahe hain and here we are taking the example of mr sharma who is suffering from a number of disease okay mr sarma is suffering from a number of disease and when um, he went to the doctor the doctor said that he was suffering from hiv positive soon this news spread in his neighborhood and and on account of this he faces the social problem okay now what do you think um, people's indifference towards hiv positive is advisable or justifiable anyone say we are taking a case study here we are taking the example of mr sharma who is suffering from a number of disease bahut sare disease hai mr sharma ko and when he went to the doctor then um, after diagnosis uh, it was detected that he was suffering from aids or hiv positive now the people when this news spread in his locality the people are maintaining distance from him the people are avoiding him now do you think it is advisable or it is justified uh, it is um, uh, we can justify that people are doing the right thing anyone no ma'am no why, why ma'am because it is not communicable disease it is it not is not a communicable disease okay now how can one protect i uh, uh, um, himself or herself from this particular disease anyone how can uh, someone prevent uh, himself or herself when getting in contact with mr sharma from that disease kaise apne aap ko wo prevent karenge yes is not a communicable disease but we know that when blood comes in contact with the blood aids spread we can say hum log kehte hain na ki jab blood ka blood se milna hoga to aids spread hoga 
okay so uh, what are the precautions that should be taken by other people no doubt it is restricted to mr sharma only it is not going to transfer to other people but uh, what precaution other people will take i think simply one should be or... aware about the yes what one should be aware about the mode of transmission of disease danger of sharing needles yes transfusion of contaminated what, blood yes the people should be aware that how this particular disease is transmitted to other people and uh, uh, simply by talking or by shaking hand this disease is not going to transmit from the infected person so it is not necessary to maintain distance or uh, from that person who is suffering from this disease okay now the, when we are talking about this disease there are many modes of transmission of aids and um, can you tell me the modes of transmission to three points two three points you have to add in this two do teen point add karo isme modes of transmission mein yes any two three point what are the modes of transmission of aids aids ke transmission ka aur kya kya reason hai anyone transfusion of infected blood when we are taking the infected blood that is by blood transfusion other reasons are other reasons are use of contaminated razors for shaving yes for saving purpose if we are using the same razor which is used by the aids patient then it is going to infect us khushi rani is there any problem in unmuting yourself you are sending message in the chat box kya khushi rani ko koi problem hai yes anyone now another question from reproductive health why it why it become necessary for some people to abort their child you abort the growing embryo we can say why is it necessary for some people uh, why it become necessary for some people to abort their child what is the reason behind it anyone this is also from that topic why some people abort their growing embryos particularly some uh, females we can say what is the reason behind it anyone they abort their um, growing embryo why lady take such type of steps what is the need what kind of need is arising yes any two three point which you think that uh, uh, for that purpose people uh, adopt such type of measures or they uh, move on to uh, decision of aborting the embryo any particular reason ka koi main karan hai iska see i am telling you one important reason for aborting child i bought i am reason ho sakta hai determination of sex you people have uh, learned about that um, um, the sex if the sex is determined and the, the in our indian society particularly if it is a female child then um, uh, female fetus side we can say that uh, mother is adopted but uh, uh, why in other countries also uh, this type of practices are adopted the if the if the growing embryo is suffering from any severe disease what kind of severe disease we people are talking about say if um, um, they are suffering from some genetic disease which is coming uh, through generation then the people would or the child's growth is abnormal okay if the child's growth is abnormal there is some sort of problem if there is not proper development and this type adopted by the uh, females okay so this is the next question from this topic so in this chapter many questions we people have discussed and i don't think uh, now that you have any problem in any topic 
क्या कोई प्रॉब्लम है किसी को एनी वन नो करता है एंड एंड ट्यूब डेवलप्स एंड इट पासिस थ्रू दिस पोर्शन टू द ओवरी ओके तो एट ए टाइम टू मेल गैमेट्स we can say uh, goes through the style okay stigma se style hote hue at a time two male germ cells will go one go and fuse with the egg to form the zygote and another go and fuse with two polar nuclei see here we are saying that when male um, germ cell um, when pollen grains fall on this one the pollen grains jo hai is pe girenge to response towards chemical ko ye show karega it will show response towards chemical when pollen grain fall on its surface and a pollen tube will develop like this and from this pollen tube at a time two uh, male uh, germ cell will go one go and fuse with this egg that is ovary and uh, that is ova and another go and fuse with the two polar nuclei as the fertilization is taking place twice we call it as double fertilization okay so how you are going to write this question i am telling you first of all you write the pollen grain develops a tube called the pollen tube which carry male germ cell to the ovary then the male germ cell fuses with the female germ cell in the ovary to form a zygote and the zygote further develops into embryo the embryo develops a protective covering and forms seed and the ovary whole ovary turns into a fruit and then the other male gamete which passes through the which go and fuse with the two polar nuclei that is going to form the endosperm now it is clear is it clear to you isko problem tha isme yes ma'am yes hum log keh rahe hain ki at a time two male germ cell will go ek baar mein do male germ cell jayega ek jaake wahan par yahan par aake ओवरी में जो जो फीमेल जॉम सेल है वो वहां उसको फ्यूज करेगा और फ्यूज करने वो, वो फ्यूज करके जाइगॉट बनाएगा देन दूसरा जो है वो जाके यहाँ पे टू पोलर न्यूक्लियाई है इन दोनों पोलर न्यूक्लियाई को वो फ्यूज करेगा और वो एंडोस्पॉम बनाएगा तो जो जाके फ्यूज किया वो जाइगॉट फॉर्म किया देन इम्बियो बिल डेवलप्ड एंड होल ओवरी इज कन्वर्टिंग इन अ फ्रूट हम लोग कहते हैं ना कि मैच्योर ड्राइप एंड ओवरी इज कॉल्ड फ्रूट ओके नाउ आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर टू यू नेक्स्ट एनी क्वेश्चन एनी मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू पीपल वांट टू पुट और आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वेजिटेटिव प्रोपगेशन सी in vegetative propagation you you learn about what is vegetative propagation what is natural vegetative propagation and artificial vegetative propagation now anyone tell me if the question is what is vegetative propagation what you are going to say this one is an important question a very important question from this topic what is vegetative propagation anyone ma'am it is a type of a sexual reproduction in which the reproduction in plant take place from the plants parts parts of plant like roots stems and leaves okay that is vegetative propagation now there are two types of vegetative propagation what are those yes two types of vegetative propagation anyone kaun se do tarike ke vegetative propagation hum log padhe Um, natural yes. methods and artificial methods natural vegetative propagation and artificial vegetative propagation in natural vegetative propagation you people have known that vegetative propagation through root vegetative propagation through stem and vegetative propagation through leaves now when we are talking about artificial vegetative propagation there are three methods you have run what are those three methods Three methods: you cutting, 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 layering, 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 cutting, layering, grafting. Very good, cutting, layering, and grafting. Very good. And in grafting, we people have learned that uh, the when farmer is going to do the grafting, he will take the uh, root portion of one plant, and the, he will take the root portion attached with uh, some uh, portion of the root, and he will put put another plant. Now the lower part that is which contain the root part that is called 
the lower part whose uh, the, the two plants is sticking the first part which contain the root system that is called yes stalk stalk and the shoot portion is called seon seon he is taking the shoot portion that is called skion very good now seon skion s c i o n okay skion see now next uh, i am asking that i am giving say five example of the plants and you have to select uh, uh, that plant to which vegetative propagation may be carried out say i am talking about gram beet dashmin banana and mustard again you listen i am talking about banana beet mustard jasmine and gram here five plant i am giving to you people now tell me the plant which show um, which the farmer can um, adopt the process of vegetative propagation he can uh, use the process of vegetative propagation out of the following five plant i am telling you first one is banana second one is wheat third one is mustard fourth one is jasmine and the last one is gram yes anyone vegetative propagation can be carried out in which plant you people have correctly banana. answered banana banana jasmine jasmine yes yes mean yes. banana and jasmine uh, vegetative propagation can be carried out very good yes vegetative propagation jo hai hum log banana mein kar sakte hain kyunki what we people have learned in vegetative propagation that seedless plant can be developed by this method and we know that banana is a seedless plant so banana it selected here second we are selecting the jasmine in jasmine artificial vegetative propagation you people have learned that is carried out by the farmer now what type of artificial vegetative propagation is done in the jasmine anyone layering 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 yes very good so hum logo ne bahut sare questions kiye and um, many questions i have taken and you people have correctly answered all the question very good so what is vegetative propagation what are its important what are its type this is the very important question second uh, regarding reproductive health we people have answered different uh, i put different question to you people and you people have correctly replied so in the from the reproductive health portion one question you prepare that what are the different measures adopted to check the um, for the what are the significance of reproductive health or what are the different why the different methods methods are adopted for uh, checking the population or uh, for preventing uh, stds okay we people have learned many method yesterday uh, see four methods already we people have discussed uh, char method ko kal humne clearly discuss kiya tha now um, i am um, going to end this topic after that in the next week we are going to start our environment so the last question from you people do you think drinking a cup of tea uh, will prevent stds do you think putting simply cup of tea will uh, prevent stds sexually transmitted diseases kya cup of tea use karne se yes, sexually, sexually transmitted diseases prevent ho sakte hain anyone no yes ma'am yes or no tell me this is the last question yes you are writing no the correct answer is no ma'am no sexually transmitted diseases cannot be prevented by using the copper tea okay because these diseases are transmitted through the microorganism like bacteria and virus so it is not possible uh, to check the sexually transmitted diseases by simply by using the copper tea but um, uh, what do you think what can be used to prevent stds if we are talking about different methods say barrier surgical then uh, uh, hormonal different methods we are um, yesterday we people have learned now do you think any is a method that is uh, suitable for to some extent to prevent stds any such method koi bhi waisa method jo ki stds ko prevent kare i think uh, anyone 
Don't you think barrier method to some extent that can be used? No, ma'am. No. Yes. STDs cannot prevent. Uh, yes, ma'am. Barrier method. Karthik Raj is writing barrier method. He by wearing a condom to some extent it can be prevented, but we cannot say that um, um, STDs may not. Uh, um, STDs जो है वो transmit नहीं होगी sexually transmitted disease जो है वो नहीं होगा ये हम लोग नहीं कह सकते हैं okay to some extent it can be prevented but uh, property for from that it is not going to prevent so uh, these are the questions which we people have taken from this lesson बहुत सारे important questions को मैंने तुम लोगों से पूछा so Prepare yourself. Uh, you take some questions and go for the revision work. Next day we are going to start our environment chapter. किसी को problem है इसमें? If you have any problem, you can ask me. Yes. Any problem? No, ma'am. If you have any problem in any topic, you can ask me. Okay. Now tell me. Uh, what is regeneration? I simply am uh, um, want to know that whether you remember or you have forgot, uh, you or you forgot. Uh, what is regeneration? Anyone? The ability of living organism to regenerate its lost part. And this come under asexual or sexual reproduction? Asexual. I'm asexual. Asexual reproduction. Very good. So, can you give some example? Can you give some example? Where? Some plan area. Plan area. The tail of lizard. Yes. In hydra also, we can find hydra. Maybe हम लोगों को ये देखने को मिलता है. ठीक है regeneration. And also, I I I have given you some example of vertebrates. Vertebrates का भी example दिए थे ना. Not whole body will be developed, but some parts of vertebrates. Uh, in some vertebrates, we can say show regeneration. Like, can you give the example? Yes. Ma'am, lizard. Lizard. Tail of lizard. Amphibians. Now, what is the difference between minarch and menopause? What is the difference between minarch and menopause? Different questions we are taking from this topic. Anyone? Minarch and menopause. Minarch is the ma'am. Minarch is the beginning of, of. Yes, minarch is the beginning. Minarch is. Minarch is the stage of initiation of menstruation in the life of female. It is the um, we can say when first of all a menstrual cycle start in the female uh, in the female that is called a minarch and menopause. It is the stage. Ma'am, the end of menstrual cycle. Okay, now what happens when a spirogyra filament attain considerable length? What happens when a spirogyra? Okay, spirogyra, you know that is a type uh, type of living organism. When it attain its full length, what happens? It breaks and again the and again develop as new individual. Yes, it uh, is in the form of fragments. So 